This tutorial is going to cover how to create a property of t-shirt design in Corel Draw. You're going to first click on new page and then I like to change it to a landscape view and then it's very simple to create this. You're going to click on your text tool, you're going to click on the screen once and you're going to type out property of and then you're going to click on your pick tool and now you can move it around we're going to first make sure we click on a Pantone color we're going to choose Pantone process black for now if you don't have these Pantone colors up you can find them under window color palettes you're going to go to the color palette browser and search for Corel Pantone matching system Corel 8 now that you have your text written you're going to choose a font that you think is going to work well. And if you don't have a font that you think will work well for a property of shirt, you can always download one. I suggest dafont.com, dafont.com. So I selected rubber stamp. I'm going to go to 100 points so it's nice and big. And I'm going to go ahead and select center alignment and then I'm going to go ahead and press select the object press P on my keyboard to move it to the center of the page and then I'm just using the arrow keys to move it up towards the top and then so that I have all the same properties as this I'm going to hit control C to copy Control V to paste and then I'm going to use the arrow keys to move that down below and this I'm going to double click on it and now I can highlight this and change it to a different word so it's going to be property of um, Taft High School now this is a little long so I'm going to go ahead and change my font size and you can also just click and drag the corner to change your font size and if you hold down shift on your keyboard while you click and drag a corner it'll move both sides equally so now that that's there, there we're gonna move property of down a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and add an arc to property of so I'm gonna click and hold on my interactive blend tool here and then I'm gonna select the interactive active envelope tool and it puts this kind of dotted box around my text at this point you want to click on single arc mode and you're going to want to click on one of these nodes here and move it up now you notice if you just click on the one node there it's only going to move up one side at a time if I hit control Z it goes back to the original and if you ever hit control Z while using the interactive envelope tool make sure you click back on single arc mode before you try doing anything else so now I'm going to hold down control on my keyboard and I'm going to click and drag that middle node upward and it's going to bring the bottom one up with it since I hit control now just to move back again click on single arc mode if I hold down shift on my keyboard it's going to move them opposite directions if I hold down control it's going to move them in the same direction so I'm going to arc it up to a, an amount that I like and now I'm going to move that down a little bit maybe make it slightly bigger and now I'm going to put an XXL uh, little stamp in the center so I'm going to use my square tool I'm going to click and drag a rectangle and then I'm going to go up here to these options which are rounded options and I can type in a number or I can just press the arrow up and make the corners more rounded but I'm actually going to type in a number until it's an amount that I like how rounded it is at, and at this point I'm going to make this Pantone black 
and I'm going to want to make sure that you take off your outline because the outline is not a Pantone color and we don't need the outline anyway. So again that's under the outline pen dialog, you click the X. So now that we have the square how we like it, we're going to click on the square and then click on one of the texts, it doesn't matter wh whichever one, using the shift key you're going to click on the square and then click on the text. That way both of the objects are selected. Then you're going to go to arrange, align and distribute, and centers. That way this rectangle is centered with the rest of the design. I'm just going to move it up a little bit. And then at this point I just need to add an XXL to the center. So I'm going to click my text tool again, click on once on the screen, type what I want it to say, go back to the pick tool, and go to centered alignment. I'm going to move it on top just for now and I'm going to choose white so I can see it. I'm going to use rubber stamp as well for that. And I'm going to make it bigger. And then a quick way again to align that to the center of this rectangle is I'm going to have the word selected, hold down shift and click on the rectangle and then I'm going to go to Arrange, Align and Distribute, Centers Vertically, Arrange, Align and Distribute, Centers Horizontally. Now it's in the middle of that. So that's a quick way to create your own property of t-shirt and then you can use this for multiple schools or multiple projects. Just change the center object or um, change the text to whatever you need it to say and that is that.